It is 7 o'clock, just about two minutes since I ended the video for uh, Friday, which was the 4th, uh, uh, September 4th. Here we go again. As soon as I start, I start talking, I start yawning. <laughs> I was more or less fine before I turned the camera on, but I turned the camera on, started talking, and then there comes the first yawn. I don't know what it is that does this, but it does it. So, anyways, we're starting the weekend vlog. Uh, it's Saturday, uh, September 5th. It's uh, 7 o'clock in the evening. Uh, we'll vlog all day today. Well, whatever's left of today. Uh, into Sunday and, and into the wee hours of Monday morning. Uh, before we start the next vlog again uh, for Monday. <laughs> And repeat the pattern as much as we can. I still have to do work on uh, uh, fixing up the uh, uh, the WordPress blog. Uh, that has to be done. I have to push out uh, probably sometime tomorrow. Uh, I have to push out the vlog I posted today. And then do another push out for, uh, the, uh, for the vlog that's going to go up on Sunday. Posting every day, vlogging six days a week. So that's the way I do it now. And the uh, the basically Saturday and Sunday are covered in one one vlog. So right now I just finished watching uh, Carly from uh, from from, uh, from our family nest. Uh, she's she's doing a pretty good job vlogging. She has like she has problems sort of. She's she's overly concerned with the quality of her videos, but a lot of times. Uh, vlogging is just hanging out, so it doesn't necessarily mean, necessarily mean you have to be organized or, <laughs> or anything along those lines. Because I'm certainly not organized. I don't. My, none of my stuff is organized. I don't plan out what I'm going to do. It just kind of happens. And that's kind. That, that, good, good. Vlogs are more relaxed. If you're going to produce a show, that's something different. But a vlog is a relaxed. It's hanging out. It's it's having the conversation. Uh, that's kind of what it's all about. And uh, that's your that's your basic. So you don't necessarily have to have things planned. What Cabri does from uh, it's our life, and she only did this the first few videos she did this, but somehow I guess someone told her not to do it anymore. Uh, she's trying to follow other vloggers. But her own style was actually the best. Where she fought, she literally is like if she was looking through the camera while walking, while walking while looking through the camera, and so you could sort of you could put yourself in her well shoes and see how she was seeing things, and because you were seeing things as they were occurring, she didn't need to narrate it. She didn't need to say, "Oh, we went to a restaurant. We went to this. We we didn't went and did that." Uh, when you have that type of vlogging, which is a more difficult type of vlogging, uh, I don't go anywhere, so it doesn't. Uh, uh, and the people I do uh, go with uh, aren't necessarily into vlogging; they don't want they want themselves on YouTube. So it limits what I can do in terms of that type of vlogging. Uh, I use the vlogging where I sit outside uh, the spaces in between the sort of the interludes uh, between our discussions. Uh, where you're seeing the sky, that's uh, that's actually shot at five o'clock in the morning. Uh, as the sun is coming up, the sun's not fully up yet, and it, the, the sky has these rippled type of clouds that uh, just like sitting little bit bits of foam in the sky. And so I I I, I film those, but that's about it. The observation isn't really exciting. It's, it's you, you're watching things for hours on not hours on hours, taking your notes and then going in and then doing that again, repeat, repeating that process over and over again. So there is a, a, there is a sort of a limitation in terms of how you can actually film or vlog uh, a, uh, an observation, uh, an observational period because there's not much that actually goes on. And I said, the research for atmospheric, atmospheric physics one cycle is one year, and I need at least three or four cycles before I really get the sort of the pin down um, understanding that I need to really start to to publish. 
uh, and I'll be publishing to the platform here. Part of the reason why I'm doing our life of Cyborg, Cyborg Alpha, why I have the sort of the YouTube presence is this is where I'm going to publish my work and leave the research the in terms of its peer review to be open. And because a large chunk of the work that, I, that I'm doing can't be published anyways. It simply has to be left out of these journals. I wouldn't be, would be able to go up there and give them everything. I'd give them a perspective, <laughs> so, to, so to speak, on what I'm doing. And if they want to, they can sort of proceed and go ahead and do the same thing that I'm doing or along the similar lines and see, okay, well, what do they see when they do this work? And a different, whole different ballgame than simply doing mathematics or doing working on a computer simulation, which is basically a mathematical model. It's different, totally different animal. Well, I'm in the kitchen cooking again, and this is a, a, a video that's titled "Let's Try This." <laughs> if I were to try, if I if I were going to do that, uh, I've made this before. I get this jar of uh, looks like jelly, but it's actually a tea uh, from my Chinese store, from my Asian supermarket, and I'll add water to this and put it into a jug. And let it sit for a day. I also have to uh, grind some dates. There we go. That's good. That's done. I can rinse the jar out. And I can, the jar is empty. The next one will will be like this one, but it have made with aloe. So let me go add some water to this, and then I'll come back and show you the next step. A pre-measured amount of sugar and the first part of the solution is already in this mixing jug. As I stated before, I don't buy new jugs. I recycle. So I'm not necessarily a green person, but... Uh, there is economic sense in recycling what you what you can. The next step is to grind up some dates. These are the dates I get from my supermarket. This is not repurposed, but it's reused again and again. <laughs> and it's not wasn't that expensive. It was uh, actually fra rather cheap. Uh, I grind things up. Getting my uh, grinder. I use one of these coffee grinders to to, to grind it up. Uh, usually, I'll I'll do two of these because I want to put two loads of dates into the mixture. And then after that, I'll add more water in. Well, we're done. This is what it looks like. There's a little fuzzy stuff on the top. <laughs> That's the mixture. Uh, Every once in a while, you just tip it over, you mix it up. But this is this is going this is going to sit for about a day and a half, and it'll provide a great drink afterwards. It will be a nice date uh, in citron flavor, uh, and it'll be lightly sweetened. So that's my tea drinks. Uh, I'll be showing you pancakes and a lot more from the short order menu uh, as we start uh, vlogging more in the kitchen. I would like to state that, you know, the dripping mess is, is an unusual thing, but I have to change my shirt. I should be changing my shirt just about almost every day. And same thing with my sleeping habit. It's uh, just about 6.30 in the morning on Sunday, uh, September 6th. And, I don't know, so I went to bed at 1 o'clock in the morning. Uh, to take my sleep break. And something woke me up around 4 and I just got up and stayed up uh, for about 2 hours. Uh, I, I did some meditation, had some food. 
I made myself a nice, uh, sort of like a combination uh, uh, omelet, French toast, and uh, pancake. So that's the type of flavoring that comes out of it. And I had it with uh, some uh, of my uh, where he uh, 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 iced uh, iced tea, milk, the milk tea, and I had made a batch of uh, uh, yuja cha uh, with uh, uh, with dates infused. It's a, it's a date infused date infused yuja cha. That's another type of tea, tea drink from uh, Korea that I bought. Uh, but I think you have to you have to prepare it. It takes about it takes about twelve hours for the flavors to set up properly. And then once the twelve hours is up, uh, you you pour it out. You filter out the materials. It takes about uh, it takes about two filterings uh, to do it. You have to do a rough filter to take out the larger pieces. Then you do a finer filter uh, to take out the, some of the pulp that's in there. Uh, sort of left behind it that, that the larger filter didn't take out. So it leaves you in, in a position that, th that this is why you wonder why I yawn so often because my my sleep is rarely ever complete, and it does take a toll on the body. It, it, does, it has an impact on it. You try to be more healthy well, in terms of what you're eating and the. the, the the healthy choices I've made uh, are very tasty. They're very, they're very good, but still there is that lasting effect. So I'm gonna go back and try to see what I can do. Let's see if I can get another five hours. But this is how I get my so-called so-called full sleep in there. Is that it's broken up into it's broken up into segments. It's not continuous. As I said before. The things that are memorable about the about the dream is typically typically uh, the emotions that you have during it. And because what happens is, is that the, for me the dream continues. It's still in my mind when I wake up. It takes about an hour to two hours before my mind clears and I'm out of the uh, altered state. In this case, I, I I still haven't left the altered state yet. It's still there. Uh, it's still functioning within my mind, and it makes it uh, somewhat difficult to speak because you've got your, your your mind is distracted. There's no focus necessarily here. I have some focus, but not a complete focus. So this is uh, typically what happens, and on, particularly on the weekend, I spend more time in meditation than I typically do uh, during the week. I'm trying to increase my, my meditation during the week, but Saturdays and Sundays uh, are the days I sp spend uh, intentionally spend more time with, and so that's what will be going on more or less today. Wait till the frame starts stops jumping around. Anyways, it's seven o'clock, little boy. On Monday, well, September seventh. And we're ending the vlog for the weekend. This is the one long weekend vlog. Even though today is Labor Day, uh, I'm not including that in the weekend uh, one day uh, vlog, where we vlog both Saturday and Sunday as a single day. Uh, and that's why we're ending the video now, uh, because uh, we're into the wee hours of uh, Monday morning. <laughs> But that's the way it typically goes. Is a lot of times, well, sometimes we end it at two o'clock in the afternoon. It just depends on on how the schedule works. And uh, I was supposed to go to bed earlier, but I I couldn't sleep, so uh, I ended up 
he was staying up till about two thirty, three o'clock in the morning. That's when I finally felt start started feeling tired. We, when the body started sort of saying I needed sleep, and then from there I, I proceeded to sleep. But the, I needed to be up again around four o'clock in the morning to do the gaming. That didn't happen, but I did end up getting up at six. And so I've been up for about an hour now doing the gaming and some meditation. And decided this uh, end the vlog here. Now everyone seems to be off from the weekend because the, most people didn't, most of the places didn't vlog. Uh, there are two places that vlog, well, three places that vlog. Uh, on, on the standard YouTube stroll, and that's up. Uh, that's um, Yali Vlogs, It's Our Life, and uh, Family Five Vlogs. Those are the three who uh, actually three who actually vlogged. Uh, I can't remember whether whether or not they they had something for the week or not. In terms of Family Five Vlogs, I know I watched. I went over and watched uh, Brawley Ann's video her vlog and she's in Family Vibe vlogs and let's see I think of the bad news in terms of Bradley Ann she was feeling down because uh, some uh, I guess she didn't say exactly what but some news that was not uh, the way she expected uh, called bad news uh came her way, and then, uh, Yali Logs had their house flooded, and so a large chunk of the, uh, the vlog on the Yali Logs now is, is dealing with the reality that's before them. Which is, in some uh, some cases, it, it, it's daunting to see the dis the, the, the damage that uh, a flood or a natural disaster can do. But at the same time, they have another house of the same size that they can go to. With, and this one actually has a, uh, has a pretty good sized swimming pool, and it wasn't hit at all. So uh, that was sort of a bonus, if you, if you will, that uh, they weren't simply having to put up in a hotel. Because uh, other people have had their houses destroyed, but with natural disaster, but they didn't have anywhere else to go to. They didn't have a second house. But the Yali vlogs uh, uh, have a second house, so that was something that was, it would say, beneficial. Even though they had to deal with a situation that was very negative. And I guess because Yahweh Vlogs always talks about balancing, you know, how do you deal with negative events and things that in your in your life that are rather depressing, and you do you you have to deal with your emotions, and then that's not easy. It's not easy to deal with your emotions because even in the, for very tiny. <laughs> It's, sometimes it's the tiny things that really trip you up. It could be something very small that trips you up. You know, uh, and that happens often. You can do the heavy lifting in terms of your emotional uh, baggage, but uh, sometimes it's the small things that trip you up and get you sort of the fall, and that's where you have to sort of pick yourself up and dust yourself off and start over again. But and no one wants to do that. No one, no one ever wants to get to go through the part of starting over again. But uh, this is what happened, and you can see how the houses. And you have all these professional tradespeople, but the houses aren't not aren't designed to withstand these particular storms. Uh, and there, it, 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 the tradespeople are they're good people. They know how to do their work in terms of getting the job done. But in terms of the engineering and design, that's where they falter and lack. And so what happens is that the, uh, the house is repaired, the house will be repaired, but it will not protect them for the next time. 
and because there is going to be a next time they're in a desert deserts have that type of uh, pattern in terms of the atmospheric physics where in many cases it's going to be very dry and in these dry hot these dry places they have their cooling temperatures when they when, when they have their season they don't have snow but they have massive amounts of water coming in and these storms these are the monsoons this is the most in most of india most of asian understands monsoons because they're in a very hot tropical place and when it cools off they have their rains and their rains uh, often flood places so and deserts are like that D deserts can be very hot, or, or typically very hot, very dry, but they have their periods of time when they have a, you can have these flash floods. And they say, well, we were not, in a, we weren't in necessarily in a flood zone, it doesn't matter. The entire desert itself, the very nature of the desert is, it's going to have, it's going to be one entire massive floodplain. Uh, even though you don't think it is, that's, one of the reasons, one of the things that make a desert a desert is this, these massive flood plains uh, that appear out of almost nowhere. You don't think the storm is going to be that bad, but and so what happens is you go through a cycle of fire and floods. And in this case here, the whole question of whether you're worth it or not uh, doesn't even pop up. Because you're dealing with something so monumental, monumental <clears throat> that in order to succeed, you have to go through it, and it makes you stronger. On the, on the other, on the other end, you say, "Well, yeah, I survived that." It's not a fun thing to go through, but <clears throat> in this case, it's not an issue of are you worth it. It's just, it's we have to do what we have to do, no matter how you're feeling. You can see in their faces. <clears throat> what the what the emotion was? They were trying to they trying to put a positive spin on it, but the thing at the same time, you could sort of see the concern on their face that that this is something that was uh, beyond what they expected. Anyways, uh, that's it for now. I'll see you in a couple hours for uh, the beginning of uh, Monday's vlog. <clears throat>